Hello everyone, today we are going to implement a small application with the data table widget in Flutter. First of all, we want to create in our widget directory a data table widget. And here we convert our stateless widget to a stateful widget because we want to maintain a state. Now we want to create here a data table. And if you go here, you see like what is required. We need columns and rows. So we go first of all with rows. And what we are doing here is that we map our cities, which I have saved here. So we have here name, a nation, and the population of the city. Our cities are mapped from the city to a data row. And here in our data row, we can have multiple cells. And here, for example, we have the cell for the city name, for the nation, and also for the population. And now we also need to do it the same for the columns. So for the header of our application. And here we do the same. We have here our city columns, which are the name, nation, and population. And here we convert them to our data column and say that we want to have a label. The next thing what we need to do, we need to go to our main file here. And here we need to add our data table widget to the body property and import it. And now if we hot restart our application, we will see this list. So we have here, first of all, the columns, which are displayed here at the top. So we have the name, the nation, the population, which are the city columns here. And then we display our rows here, which is everything under this header. So this kind of information, which we get from our data here. And now I have changed this list a little bit. I have added here another cell, which duplicates the nation. And also in our data here, we have another header which is called test because we just want to use it for a test. So if we reload it right now, and now we see here we have here an error because we have more columns which cannot be displayed on our screen. Before we fix this error, we first of all will extract this here to a new method, which we call build data table. And now what we do, we also duplicate the cities here so that we have more cities. And now if we hot restart our application, we see like we cannot scroll into this direction and we cannot scroll into this direction. So we cannot see all the cities here, which might be into this direction below, or we cannot even see all columns. So what we want to have is that we can scroll horizontally and also vertically. So what we are doing here, we wrap our build data table into a list view so that we can scroll vertically and then we also want to have a horizontal scrolling. So we also set it here to a single child scroll view. And another thing we need to do, which is not that good, but we have to give this here a size, how long this table could be. It means if we have multiple columns or adds or delete some columns, we have to change this value. There's also another way how you can do bidirectional scrolling. There's also this package here, bidirectional scroll view, which you might use, which might be better because it seems to be quite easy. So you just place your widget inside and then you don't need this whole thing here. And the best thing maybe might be that you don't have to supply it here with your own width. And now we can scroll horizontally and also vertically. Now that we have this data table, we want to play around a little bit with it. Here in our data table, we have also different kind of properties. So for example, a sort ascending, and we will store this property first of all here, rule ascending, and also have here a override method where we set this directly to false. And now we want to sort our list if we tap on this here that the names are sorted. So what we do here, we go to our data table, and there we have a sort column index, which we set to a zero. And to actually say how we want to sort this list here, we need to go to our data column here. And here we have on sort property, which we supply with an column index and a bool ascending. And I will create another method where we do all the work. And in our method, we just decide if we have the column index set to zero, which is if we have selected this column here. And if we got from our widget the ascending property, then we want to sort our list. And we say here that we want to sort the name alphabetically. And otherwise, if we get a descending, then we want to sort our list descendingly. 
And now if we tap on this here, we see that our list gets sorted alphabetically or descendantly like this. And it's pretty easy. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon. Bye.